Here's a video tutorial for going over notes on solving two-step equations. It's chapter 3.5 in your textbook. Feel free to uh, open up the textbook and follow along with. Now, uh, when solving two-step equations, uh, there's two different steps. You need to figure out which one to do first. So we need to look at our order of operations uh, to determine which one's going to go first and which one's going to go second. So order of operations goes parentheses first, exponents second. Multiplication and division are at the same level. So multiplication and division are equals. Uh, you read it from left to right, which goes first. For, so from left to right. Um, addition and subtraction are equals as well. They're read from left to right uh, um, too. Now, keeping that in mind, so we are always going to be thinking about our order of operations, we're going to talk about the process to solve. So first, find the first, then second operation being done to uh, the variable by applying the order of operations. So uh, we're going to be looking at what's happening first to our variable, what's happening second to our variable, and trying to um, put that in order. Second, the operation that was applied last uh, to the variable has its inverse applied first to both sides of the equation. Um, and second to last operation now gets its inverse applied second, working backwards. Uh, now that this part can be confusing, but let's reference it back when we're going over an example. So example, I have two times a number minus five equals 11. Two times a number minus five equals 11. First, I'm gonna figure out what's being done to my variable using order of operations. I look through here, um, it looks like x is being multiplied by two. So I see it's first being multiplied by two. And then second, I see that it's being subtracted by five. So now I wanna think about what, how do I undo that? How do I undo that? And I'm gonna be referencing this second part. Um, the operation that was applied last was subtracting five. So I want to have that inverse. So the opposite of subtracting 5 would be adding 5. I would add 5 to both sides. Now, that it helps to see that things are going away. So negative 5 plus 5 goes to 0. And I'm left with 2x equals 11 plus 5 gives me 16. Now I'm going to go to the next to last. So it says last variable. Last of the variable has its inverse applied first to both sides of the equations, check that. And the second to last operation now gets its inverse applied second. So second to last, um, it would be multiplying by two was the first thing. It's inverse, which would be dividing by two. So I divide by two on both sides. Now two divided by two is gonna go to one I'm left with 1x equals 8. To check my work, I can always plug it back in, which we're going to do next. Uh, 2 times 8 is 16, and 16 minus 5 does give me 11. So that does work. That does check out for this equation. And that's how you solve two-step equations. Uh, that's one way of solving two-step equations, and the most direct one, I believe. Let's try uh, some more examples. Um, this one, first example says x plus 4 divided by 3 equals 7. So I need to think about if I ever see a numerator, I want to, I want to uh, act like that's parentheses around there. So the first thing is inside the parentheses. It's being added by 4. Then the second thing that's happening to my variable is it's being divided by three. To do my inverse of, I start at the last thing that's happening to um, x, or my variable, 
and do this inverse first. So uh, instead of dividing by 3, I would multiply by 3. Multiplying by 3 to both sides, the 3, dividing by 3 and multiplying by 3, these cancel out. They go to 1. I'm left with just 1 times x plus 4, just x plus 4, equals, and on my right side of the equation, 7 times 3 gives me 21. Now, second, I'm looking up at the top one. Instead of adding 4 to both sides, I'm going to subtract 4. That's the inverse. So, subtract 4 to both sides. I end up with just x by itself. And 21 minus 4 gives me 17. To check my work, I can plug it in. 17 plus 4 equals 21. 21 divided by 3 gives me 7. So I know that this, this is true. My answer for x is, uh, is 17. Now, uh, number 2. Negative 27 equals 3 times the quantity x minus 4. So what's happening to my variable? First, it's being subtracted by 4. I'm looking at the order of operations. I see parentheses in here. x is being subtracted by 4. Second, this whole thing is being multiplied by 3. So to do its inverse, um, in reverse order, I'm looking at First, the opposite of multiplying by 3 is dividing by 3. So I'm doing inverses in reverse order. I'm starting at the second thing, the last thing that's happening to uh, my variable, and I'm doing its inverse, and then working my way up. So when I divide by 3 on both sides, I get this multiplying by 3 and dividing by 3. That goes to 1. I'm left with negative 9 equals x minus 4, because I had to apply the division of 3 to the negative 27, it became negative 9. Now, the opposite of subtracting 4 is to add 4. So I add 4 to both sides. Negative 4, then plus 4, that's going to go to 0. And I'm left with x equals negative 5. To plug it in, to check my work, negative 27 equals 3 times the quantity negative 5 minus 4. Well, negative 5 minus 4 is negative 9, and negative 9 times 3 does give me 27. Our last one is going to be a tricky one. It's going to be a little bit longer. So let's try this out. It's, um, it, it deals with a lot of things that we've gone over, but uh, when you first look at this, you might not see a two-step equation. But the reason why is because you have to simplify. To simplify this equation, you're going to be using your distributive property or combining like terms to, to get something that you can no longer simplify. So first, distributive property. Because I see parentheses, a number outside parentheses, I can multiply this 21 to each term inside. That's multiplication. So 21 times 2 gives me 42. And 21 times x gives me 21x. The operation stays the same and then I write out the rest of it. Um, next, I'm looking at, I have two terms with the same variable. I can combine like terms. And negative 21x plus uh, 12x gives me 42 minus 9x equals 44. To, um, and now I have a two-step equation. One thing I didn't really mention on the uh, previous slides for a two-step equation is instead of subtracting, add the opposite. So you can really see what's happening to your variable. Um, so I'm going to rewrite this instead of 42 minus 9x. I'm going to rewrite this as 42 plus negative 9x. They're equivalent expressions. But now I can see that first, x is being multiplied by negative 9. Then it's being added by 42. 
So when I do my inverse operations now, I have, first I'm gonna subtract 42 from both sides. 42 minus 42 goes to zero. And then negative nine X equals two. I'm going to divide both sides by negative nine because that was um, the opposite of multiplying by negative nine is dividing by negative nine. And I end up with x equals negative two ninths, which is a perfectly uh, fine answer for um, for x. You just put it in, you can plug it in and see whether or not this uh, this works for this equation. Uh, and the easier way would be to plug it in here. Negative two ninths times negative nine is just positive two, and 42 plus two does give me 44. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I hope you have a good day.